hooked up my Google Chromecast and I'll be trying to set it up using my iPhone. So let me go give that a try. Let me put this back onto my cheap stand. So I'm in my uh, app store and here's the Chromecast app. I installed it. I'm going to the app. Actually, the very first screen was this. Asked to add a new device. So I need to add a new device. It says, go to your Wi-Fi settings and select your new Chromecast. So I was a little confused at first. I was trying to do this, but then it's actually trying to tell you to go to Wi-Fi settings in your actual iPhone and then come back to this app. So I need to go to settings. And I'm already in Wi-Fi, but if you don't know how to get there from the main home page, go to Wi-Fi. And then I need to go to my Chromecast, which is 4640. It's a little easier on the PC, but I thought I'd try on the phones since I don't have my PC lying around, which is my laptop. I let my friend borrow my laptop. So again, I got this Chromecast for $25 using a $10 coupon, mobile coupon from Staples. I was planning to get something else like a Neo TV, you know, one of those smart boxes, but then I got really lazy. So now that that's done, go back to my Chromecast app. We found a new Chromecast. Go to next. It wants me to check to see that's the right code. And I look at the TV. It also says W9X2. Go back here. And I can give it a new name, which I will. Chromecast. I'm pretty sure without it, my wife would go, which Chromecast is it? Go next. And then this is where I would choose the Wi Fi network. I need to put in the password. This one I'll pass so you guys don't know. So give me a second while I enter this in. Click the setup button, and this is the screen that it shows now. I really wish we could access network files. So on the TV, you also see that it's setting up on the TV, which is good. It's slowly updating the number percentage progress bar, or whatever you call it. So it's at 14% now, 15. So I'm recording this with my old Nokia Lumia 520. It comes with eight gigabyte internal memory, so I'm not sure if it'll be able to record all this, but I think it should be able to. So I have some other projects I'm working on, but I won't talk about it yet. And so, it gave me an uh-oh moment. It's because my Chromecast is still updating up over there. So hopefully whenever it updates, this thing will change. So let's see, still waiting. Waiting and waiting. After the update, switch your TV back to input and source. I'm not sure what that means. Why don't we just leave the input like that? 
So it's up to 95% now, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100%. So now it's saying that the Chromecast needs to reboot. One nice thing that they've been doing, trying to do is add more apps, even though it's been a long time since they first released the Chromecast. So recently we got Hulu Plus, or recently they added Hulu Plus to this. Now they've also added HBO, HBO Go, I think. So that's a nice change. Oh my gosh, it's still updating. Oh. Back to this update screen at 20%, 30, oh my gosh. Well, this time it's applying the update, so. I just need to wait for that to finish. It's probably because of, as I mentioned before, there's the Hulu Plus. HBO and other apps that need to be integrated into the firmware for this little device. And as I mentioned before, I was thinking about getting like a Roku or something, which is a little more flexible, but I like being able to control stuff from my iPhone or iPad or any Android tablet. So it's finally starting Chromecast. So I didn't realize it'd take this long. I need to go to work now. So there it is. It loaded up. It's all set up. And I think... If I go back to Chromecast... Now it recognizes my Chromecast living room device. And that's it. I don't know what general build means, but this is a 13, 300 general build. I'm ready to go. Signing out.